That's a dragon. Dragon my balls. Die, you. Did you think of that way up there? No, just now. Your drain plug's almost out. Dragging my balls. <laughs> it feels weird. So this is the Titan boat, and I'm jumping in it right here at seven foot. So we'll kind of like pick our way down the best we can. Right away, I feel how stable this thing is. Feels good. How about coming through this way? Bow's big and flat up there. So it does, it just kind of like pops through. It's very loose in the center. That big flat planing surface in the middle. It's just on it. Wow, it serves pretty good. Woo! It's edgy once you figure it out. Do you think the 250? 250, no way. No way. I would think 200 to 210 as far as like the highest high side but you know low side you definitely can go down to like 150 if you just like paddling a bigger boat yeah you're right brandon it's 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 a whippy boat to spin around it's like there's no resistance at all fairly quick it's got a nice edge I like how that edge feels. That thing is super dry. Yeah, I like how that edge just whips around in there. Get it up in some boils. down in that theme and see what happens it came up predictable yeah it just kind of like came up and it went more vert than i'd want but it came out smooth felt clean no the outfitting's a little wonky but it all worked i think that the outfitting needs a lot of work yeah Not the outfitting. yeah, yeah the hull. but the whole design is pretty pretty solid design boat yeah Gotta be careful of that little back edge. Ooh. Very predictable. Yeah. The way it just kind of holds a line. There's nothing crazy. Like I said, just when you're peeling out. That back edge, you want to kind of like get up on it. Once you know that, you lean forward, you're good. Yeah, and it's like you just got to kind of start counteracting that. When I was feeling out that time, I leaned up. Yep. I love how it just kind of goes right into Eddie. And once I'm, I'm locked in up here, dude, like I pushed my knees up and it got out of my thighs a little better. So it feels a little better, but I would have to trim it, outfit it more. Overall, design-wise, solid. Ooh. 
It don't feel like it's pocketing enough. Yeah, so as far as like speed, I feel it gets up to speed fast. You kind of lean back a little bit. It doesn't push a lot of water up there. It comes off pretty clean. It's like this thing wants big water. It feels like it needs some flow around it. Riding like that, there's a fair amount of power on Dude, I, I'm liking the way it feels. Yeah. Final thoughts on this. I think it's design-wise, they nailed it pretty good. Wouldn't you agree, Brandon? Design, like hull design, very predictable. Going, it's not, nothing really surprised me, but that little back edge on the the tail when I was peeling out, you want to get up over, kind of get your weight close to your knees to lift that back edge out because it got a little squirrely peeling out from time to time. Quick, predictable going through rapids. It wasn't as loose as the Phoenix. The Phoenix had a little mind of its own at times where this one kind of stays a little cleaner going through the rapids. It seems like the bow rocker is about perfect. I don't think I'd go any higher or any lower on it. Because if I go a little higher, I'd probably get slower. And I kind of like having this zippy little speed. Rails are a little lifted. And Brandon compared it to a Nirvana. You can see the rails on the Nirvana are kind of higher, but they're they're almost the same. But the thigh braces are a little too aggressive. And in, they're not aggressive in a good way, like curling around your knees. They're just aggressive as cutting the circulation off to your feet. That type of aggressive. Bulkhead feels nice and firm. It has a liftable, adjustable toe cup on it. Seat pad could use some work. I'd probably, if I had this boat, I'd definitely go in and re-outfit everything and just tighten it all up. And it, it feels kind of similar to a Waka Gangster in a way. I guess that's the best thing to kind of compare it to, but a little better. A little, little more planing. The Gangster was like a hybrid of a planing meets... I don't know if you guys can see that tail back there, but yeah. Leave in the comments below if anybody on here, if any of you guys have paddled a Titan Dragon, I'd like to hear your opinion. I know they're not very common here in the U.S., but leave in the comments what you think of the Dragon, the Titan boats in, in general. I think this boat came in right at a little over $1,000, which is good in today's time because a lot of boats are going between $1,300 $1,600. So this boat came in. And I know Titan also has a boat called the Nymph that I've seen their half slice. I'd like to try that one out. But between the Dragon and the Nymph, I can totally rock this brand. You know what you guys can rock is hit that, rock that like button below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I've got some more on water reviews coming soon. Some new stuff coming down the pike that I think you guys are gonna like to see. But um, yeah, thanks a lot everybody. And I will uh, catch you guys next time. Dragon. Like this is like dragon's breath. <laughs> Coming out of the dragon's lair right here. Look at all this fog that just kind of, there was a rainstorm that just popped through.